Just take it all in for a minute. Take it all in. Our passion is restoring historic homes. We were going to renovate this house and then make it into a bed and breakfast. But I mean, we have encountered hundreds of hurdles along the way. Could be 50,000 bees on the inside. Stop! The right column is gone structurally. <gasps> oh! So good, they're paint. So let's go in the living room. It's giant, right? I love the paneling. I wanted this paneling out here just to kind of elevate this room. It feels very sophisticated. But I'm not gonna go formal on the furniture, so that way it feels still welcoming and cozy yeah. and you can sit and relax. So we bought the house for 225,000. We were hoping to have under 500,000 all in, but we are about $200,000 over what we wanted to spend. Yeah, and now I have no money left to put any furniture in this house. I love this home because it's just a little slice of all the things Jenny and I love. All like the wallpaper and the lighting and the faucets and the hardware by making all the furniture in the house. We're gonna make this house a reflection of us. It's just a home where we get to do fun things that we don't get to do in our home, right? I mean, we don't have a wine cellar in our home, which is pretty fun. Ugh. The steel doesn't get any lighter. So not only am I making all the furniture in the house, I've welded up all of the handrails in the front, in the back. I mean, anything that I can do to keep the cost down. Oh, and just a minute. All right, then you can help me work on this. And you know what, we have five kids, so sometimes one of those kids needs to come and help out at the job site. Whoa, look who it is, it's Uncle Matt. So what do we have going on? Send some handrail, man, so the painters can get going. Oh, I'm gonna awesome. have them spray it all at once. Tom! You need a hand? I do. <laughs> Ready? Yep. It's not bad. No, it's not too bad. Watch the handle, watch the handle. Good thing Tom and I are so little. We watch the through that. Right, side watch the by stairs. Side. Hang on. All right, Matt. Oh, good. This there way. you go. Now, Rick, we definitely aren't going to fit through here. <laughs> oh, 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 there okay. we go. I was going to oh, push you. I was really. Were you just pushing us? I was just pushing you together. Let's go down there. Back first. Careful, careful with the floor. Oh, Matt. I didn't do that. It's so fun to see all of the finishing touches go in. We have sod going out in the yard. All right, babe, last screw here. We have the light fixtures going up throughout the house. Plumbing fixtures, vanities. There's just so much happening. Kim Brown, painted, done. Oh. Looks so good. All right, Kim. Got the holes pre-drilled. Jenny's use of pink lately is a little disturbing, but it actually looks really good. What do you think? It looks good. You could just uh, wood fill them, patch holes. Yeah, we'll just putty that and then be good to go. Glad that railing was there. That's an awesome <laughs> railing you made. All right. <laughs> okay. Furniture looks good. I'm excited to actually get all of this stuff out of the barn. It's finally time to really finish this house off. There's a ton of work that goes into getting a house ready. Makes for a big bed, doesn't it? Yeah, looks good. It is definitely a process. There are, you know, you start with the first layer, the biggest pieces, and then you just start bringing in layers and layers. And it doesn't happen in one day. Really probably about a week for this house to, to get it to a point where it's it's ready to go. Oh, it looks so good. One thing down, 225 more to go. All the elements I'm choosing for styling the house, I want to really reflect that feel of comfort and warmth and I don't want it to be overly perfect, or I, want, I don't want people to feel like they can't touch anything and it's a museum. I never want that. So, okay, you know, Dave built a dollhouse that looks like the house that we're gonna put upstairs, right? So we have a little oven, but wait, look at the little pan. I'm just cracking up about how much stuff we need for this house, but thankfully we have a miniature wooden spoon, so. So we are finishing up the final touches, like everything is coming together. So from then until now, wow, big, big difference. This has been a really, really long journey. 
So here we go. Stepping Enter into the magical land. Magical land. Oh my lord. It's bad. Dave Mars, this is not magical. Did we do the right thing? I don't know. It's nice not having these. Yeah. I'll give it that. We got a lot of progress. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I'm telling you, though, it's going to take a lot of money, but we're shooting for the next 100 years, and we're doing it right. We bought the house for $225,000, hoping to have under 500,000 in it when we finished. We're a little closer to right around 740,000. That's everything all in. You're covering up all my work. Well, I'm making the bed, babe. You gotta have pillows. I could have just done one piece of wood. It's fine, carry on, carry on. I just can't wait to open the doors and have other people come in and get to enjoy this house. So we thought, what better way to open the welcome in than to have a Mars family night. Starting with my brother, Matt, and his wife, Carrie. Okay, I'll have one, too. Ginny, doorbell. Oh, oh, okay, let's go. Hello! Hello. Welcome to the welcome in! <laughs> All right, should we go check out the living room? Yes. Okay. Wow, oh, wow. <gasps> This is amazing. Look at those walls. Oh my goodness. Did you make this, Dave? I did. <gasps> oh yeah, my goodness. It's a theme in the house. Dave basically made everything. Love. The day that Matt decided not to invest was the day that I started building furniture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we added all the trim to the wall, so it gives it some texture and architectural detail and makes it feel a little more sophisticated. Oh, but look at this. Okay, so then this is the original oh. stairs. But look at this photo we got from a guy named oh. Mike who grew up here. But this is the staircase. You can see wow. what it used to look like. This is the dining room. What was covered was this ceiling. Oh my word. How cool is that? That is gorgeous. That I love awesome? that you left it exposed. Yes. Yeah. And Dave built this table. Oh Isn't wow. Isn't this so pretty? I love this table. And I wanted something just oval and different, a little more Beautiful. formal up here. This table is probably the best table you've made. Thanks. It looks it looks like it's an old yes. antique. Yeah. I wish Matt would have fallen in love with woodworking like you did, because I had <laughs> no woodwork. She was just telling me that the other day. <laughs> Let's check out the kitchen. Oh my goodness. Wow. So I have our beautiful range yes. here that I love. I love the blue. Just yes. this is the focal point of the room. This mosaic tile that's handmade. Just a lot of handmade little touches. This oh, hardware. Oh, I know, the oh, hardware is wow. amazing. It is beautiful. I love the floor. Oh, yeah. yeah the, oh, Tom, I love how it's done. laid. And I love that brick touch in the yeah. corner. Yeah. And that brick goes through to the other side of the wall. Ooh. You know what every house does need? Matt will understand this. A bourbon room. This is probably my favorite room. like we just stepped back in time. Love it. I love the color that you painted the so walls. So cozy. So are these little card catalog drawers or what are they? I think they were, but we put them in here because we figured we can put like a bottle of bourbon in here. Have some puzzles in them. Have yeah, some random games. stuff. That's so Isn't that cool. cool. Just a little storage. Bedroom right. number one. Okay. Oh wow. Oh my Look goodness. Look at these windows. No, I love it. This bed is beautiful. Oh my goodness. This Dave, bed is this? really beautiful if you didn't have 87 mm. pillows. I do the Ooh, same look thing. look at this. <gasps> look at that. Wow, that bed is just beautiful. Isn't that cool? This right here was part of the living room before. Oh wow. So we had to cut a hole in here and then we added this whole bath. Oh yeah. my goodness. Go check it out. Wow. This is an awesome little landing area. Look at all these beautiful pictures. So we just made a wall of all of these old That's photos so just cool. to really commemorate, you know, the history of yeah. this home. And then I had my artist friend paint the house as it is now. Wow. And kind of have that as the only one in color. So it's I just sort that. of present day. So the next room, this is the okay. last bedroom. Let's okay. check it out. This is where if a family comes. Oh my god. They have kids. They need a place to stay. Wow. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. And the door to outside. Yes. Dave. Yes. Another bed that she covered with night. pillows. 
Did you, did you make this? Yep. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's a recreation of this house. How perfect. <laughs> the little Isn't pink shutters. Downstairs, we had kind of the dark, a little bit more dramatic bedroom. Sure. Then you have the pink room, which is sure. an ode to what was there. And then this room is more of the calm, serene, mm -hmm. as far as the color palette and all of that which feels contradictory because it's where the kids are going to be, but I'm hoping that it'll make the kids be calm and serene. Yes, <laughs> balance, balance. I've been hoping that for 12 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so the biggest bathroom of the house, go wow. on. Wow. This was actually a small bedroom that we turned into a bathroom. What a good use of space. Oh, this floor is amazing. It looks cool. like a rug. I know, I love the texture. Yeah, I Beautiful. Love this floor. Nice big soaking tub. Oh, I love that. Oh, look handmade. at those tiles. Yes, again, handmade tile. Wow. So anyway, there's more. Best part. Best part, <gasps> downstairs. Downstairs. All the way through the dining room. OK. Second door on the left. OK. Watch your head. Yep. Look, Carrie, look. Mind, Mind the step. step. Mind the step. Oh, That's it's like when we were in Europe. I know. Oh, and I didn't and listen. Oh. <laughs> look at this. <gasps> oh, my word. This is amazing. This is the best room in the house. We have beams and electrical wires everywhere. And we came in, we put some big white oak beams in here to support our floor upstairs. Mm -hmm. And then took out all the columns, built all the wine storage. Wow. And then, of course, you have the beautiful centerpiece, which is this table. Wow. Which actually, Dave a, a and. True. Yeah, and Matt. This is and, and your dad. dad. Oh, that's All awesome. All three of them made this together. I love this. We, we put in some brick that we oh, wanted yes. to look Ooh, old. Yeah. Yep, that brick it tile. Here. Yeah, just really wanted it to feel like an old world cellar, yeah. but also very sophisticated at the yeah. same time. Yes. So the other cool thing about this that I love is that it leads right outside. Oh, wow. Oh, a little look at this beat. Whoa. Whoa. That oh, was quite a goodness. reveal. Did you like that? Yeah, it was really nice. All right. <sighs> Let's see oh, what this else we is have. the backyard. Oh, yes, oh, so here we yeah. go. So this used to actually be closed in. So we opened it back up and made it a porch. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing, Matt. I can't believe you said yeah. this was gonna be a money pit. <laughs> okay, so it's a lot different than when I was here. <laughs> the price has gone up significantly. <laughs> This was an apple orchard originally, so kind of yeah. let guests pick apples, eggs. Yeah. We got the bee box. These are the bees from the columns. So we lost the whole front columns, but we wanted to keep the honey and keep them here. So they were rehomed on our farm for about six months, and now they're over here. I didn't know you rehomed bees. This is amazing. Yeah. This is the English Gardens. Imagine it in the spring, summer. I love it. Right now, obviously, it's not really very green, but it will be. It's uh, amazing. OK, so we got smoker. You guys <gasps> guys can be oh, grilling wow. out. We hang out, little seating area. Oh, yes. OK, we All are right. starting to get rain here, so. That's kind of full circle moment. When we got here the very first time, it rained. Hang on, I got to cover my, my hair. It's raining. Welcome to our palace. So this is full circle. It's raining it. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feels so. like a good omen. I'm going to go good. Yeah. It's a good omen. Yeah, good. And okay. the kids are coming. All right, let's go I think I in. hear them. Yeah. I think it's going to be neat not just having other families come and stay and having them be able to come make memories here, but also we're going to use the house for other things. Like we're going to host fundraising dinners for the things that we're really passionate about, which is our nonprofit work. And so we'll have the space to have other unique events and create a place where our community can come and gather. Oh hey my guys. gosh, hi! Did you bring your bag to stay the night? Come on in. Come on, Hey, bud. It's what our family stands for. It's not always about dollars and cents. It's about the impact that we have in this yeah. world and in our community and doing the right thing. And I think that this house, we've we've honored the history of the house and our community in that, and we're gonna use it to do good things with.